and I've arrived. I'm now in Newcastle upon Tyne. journey was a little bit tougher than I expected but now I'm here I'm actually not too sure exactly what to do I'm gonna do some exploring around my, my main reason to be in Newcastle was actually to catch up with friends they're arriving a bit later so I've some, got some time for myself had a quick browse around I've got right in front of me science museum just here and I've got the Lady Boys of Bangkok just here so um, if I get really stuck this evening that's what I might check out maybe So I'm now heading towards the town centre. There's this uh, interesting walking tour I've been uh, told about. So I'm going to check that out. Um, as per usual, I'm running a bit late, so I'm just going to quickly run to it and just see um, if it's any good. Let's do it. I did find the walking tour. Unfortunately, the guy showing us around had a really quiet voice and he decided to stop off right next to freaking buskers and busy roads. Junk that and decided to try and go online to find my own walking tour. Turns out there is actually a couple of articles. I'm currently in the Central Arcade and bloody hell, this place is absolutely gorgeous. Just to give you a bit of a history, I'll let Mr. Voiceover take over from this point. The Central Arcade was originally a newsroom where people paid a subscription to read the latest news and then it became an art gallery. Unfortunately, or fortunately depending on how you look at it, a fire meant it got rebuilt in 1906 to what it is today. This Edwardian splendour is worth passing by, it's usually quite devoid of any crowds and you can admire the arcade in relative peace. It's a small arcade so take a moment to look and enjoy some of the intricate details dotted around the interior. You definitely won't find this, or this, in Ikea. There's usually a busker playing music that adds to the atmosphere. When I was passing by, I heard classical and also some Scottish bagpipes, like what you're hearing right now. So don't forget to leave a tip. But anyway, time to leave this time capsule of Newcastle and move on. So I just tried to film inside Theatre Royal, but I got told I wasn't allowed to, which is a real shame. It's a very, very pretty building inside. If you do get a chance, definitely go in, have a look-see around. They had a production on and I didn't have a ticket, so um, I don't think I was really welcome. Anyway, next time I'll be a bit more prepared. Time to go to the next stop on my little tour and the next stop is Grey Street which has been described as the finest street of England so let's see wherever it is the finest street of England. And right in front of me is Queen Victoria. Now, I don't know about you, but Queen Victoria always just seems she's just pretty, pretty pissed off with things. In any way, interesting little fact. So Queen Victoria apparently can't face away from the cathedral nor the town hall, so she's looking directly down the street. Random little fact. <laughs> You're famous. <laughs> And 
And now it's the evening. So the main reason why I'm actually here in Newcastle is because a friend invited us over. Um, it's her birthday, so a group of us came from London. Now it's the evening, it's time to catch up with my friends. She's organised a Japanese restaurant. Basically, it's one of those um, hot plate restaurants where you have the chef cook all the raw ingredients in front of you and it's usually a bit of like, you know, circus entertainment. So I'm so glad that my friends organised this and this is basically what happened. <laughs> No worries, I'm recording a video. So. <laughs> I'm so glad I actually had a chance to come up to Newcastle to visit with my friends. It's definitely one of those cities that you should come along and have a bit of a party. Newcastle has so many different pubs and bars that you could spend all your time drinking away. We particularly like drinking by the river underneath the Tyne Bridge. The nighttime lights were particularly nice and pretty, I thought. And of course, after all that drinking, if you still have a little bit of energy, you can just carry on and head to one of the local nightclubs. But I still had a whole day worth of sightseeing to do. Wave, wave, wave. I know they ain't in trust in letting go. It takes a bit of suffering, sleepless nights and wandering. Before you make it safely to the end, the end There's things in life you simply 